Bruce, I was actually surprised how well and sustained your career was. And I mean that as a compliment. You're one of the nicest people I've ever met. I mean that sincerely. You're one of the nicest guys I've ever met. You have not changed since I got to Phoenix in 1992. They was never trying to put you in an awkward situation. He was never trying to ask you a question like, I know if you answer this question, it's going to get you in trouble. He just did his job in a classy way, and that's why I think all the players liked him. And, hey, we're, the network is not going to be as good without you. They're going to miss you. But you know what? You have the right to retire and enjoy the back nine of life. What else do you need than that from Chuck? Coop getting some serious love as we send him off in style. Our beloved Bruce Cooper is retiring after 34 years here at 12 News. Coop has gone one-on-one -on -one with many athletes who have come to the Valley throughout the years. But we found one in particular, and you're going to love this. Well, at the 1998 NBA All-Star Game in New York, Coop met up with a youngster making his first All-Star Game appearance, Kobe Bryant. You know you've arrived when they re refer to you by one name, you know, like Michael, Magic, Larry, Madonna, Prince. In L.A., they simply call this guy Kobe. It's highlight time for Kobe Bryant. At 19 years of age, he's the youngest player ever in NBA All-Star history. Yet you won't find him with a big head. Instead, Kobe Bryant takes it all in stride. Being in this atmosphere, being along, being here with the players, getting along with the players, I think that's the thing that, that's brought me the biggest thrill. Now, Kobe had to share the stage with Michael Jordan at this year's All-Star Game, but with Jordan expected to retire at season's end, many expect the stage to be Kobe's and his only for many years to come. Boy, talk about pressure. I really don't look at it as pressure uh, because it's easy for me to stay focused on what I want to do. And I, you know, I'm not trying to live up to other people's expectations for myself. I stay within my mind frame and the mind frame of the team. And, uh, you know, if that happens, great. Did you think at such a young age that, that you would be able to, I mean, be the next ambassador for the NBA? No, not really. Not really. I, I mean, I, it would, I would have loved to have that happen. Uh, it was a dream of mine. But you know, my main goal when I made the jump to come to the NBA was just to improve. It's not going to be, it's never going to be another Michael Jordan. It's never going to be, you know, and, and I don't think it's fair to compare anybody to that. But, you know, people have done it, and it's unfortunate, and you just uh, got to deal with it. Now, Penny Hardaway and Grant Hill know all about being torch carers for Mark, uh, Michael Jordan. They were rumored to be the guy or said to be the guys that would carry on his legacy. And, Mark, I know you have someone sitting next to you that we refer to as only one name, too, uh, Cotton. Cotton, yeah. All right, listen, we were focusing a little too much on their style during that entire story. And then you got Mark <laughs> Curtis. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is adorable. Our farewell to Bruce Cooper is not done yet. The 12 Days of Coop runs through his last show on August 9th. Boy, do we love that guy. Yeah, the stash never went out of style, though. Of course not. That's one thing. Please. <laughs>